The Coast Guard Cutter Richard Snyder will change the way the Coast Guard performs missions off our coast. WNCT's Bailey Martin was there to see it get officially approved to set sail. The new Coast Guard fast response cutter Richard Snyder was commissioned to hit the water today. It will aid in search and rescue missions and other Coast Guard business right here off the coast of Atlantic Beach. The Richard Snyder was officially commissioned today. It's a, a really a true honor. I've got uh, the best crew that I've ever seen in my nine years now in the Coast Guard. The cutter's commanding officer, Lieutenant Andrew Norberg, says the 154-foot-long, 353-ton cutter will pay homage to the World War II hero it was named after. He exhibited great strength and devotion to his duty uh, and, and heroism that, that, uh, that you know, I'm certainly very humbled by because it's something I haven't yet had a chance to exhibit, but uh, I hope to. Richard Snyder's granddaughter says her family never knew what an impact he made. He didn't talk that much about the war, really hardly at all. We knew he had the Silver Star, but, you know, obviously they just don't name ships after people all the time. But now they are making an effort to learn everything they can. We learn more every day about his legacy with the Coast Guard. The Richard Snyder will join the ranks of 26 other Coast Guard cutters in the U.S. and Puerto Rico. The Cutter's crew adopted the motto, Never Yield, for the Richard Snyder. They hope it speaks to their mission of protecting American lives on land and sea. In Atlantic Beach, Bailey Martin, 9 on your side.